So what made you come back to Canada and organize this festival? Well, I do come back every every summer, every now and then to see my family anyway. And uh, I had this in mind for a while. So I was thinking the, the town is very small. Uh, it's sort of dying out because people are leaving and there's not much to do. So I thought, why? Not try to organize something lively, colorful. You do in London? No, I do work as a tour guide and I show graffiti and street art to people. So if you want to come on a tour of East London, I can show you beautiful artwork which is painted on the walls there. And I do work as a tour guide also at the Globe Theatre because I did a PhD on street art and graffiti. So the PhD is on uh, cultural studies and post-colonial studies, but it is uh, the, the, the focus was on street art and graffiti. So I do know uh, many artists in person. I work for uh, an art gallery with a focus on street art for a couple of years and a half. So I'm, I work directly with artists as well. So. What made you get in touch with these artists, this group of uh, people from Battipaglia or photographers from Milan or Salerno? How are you in touch with them? How did I get in touch with them then? Um, first of all, uh, I did organize this festival in a couple of months, which is not enough time to organize the festival. John is a friend of mine. I, I've known him, him for a while because I, I lived in Naples before going to London. So I thought maybe he's free and I got in touch with him. Uh, so he said yes immediately. was really happy to so, come. So Giovanni said yes and he decided to bring a bunch of friends yeah. with him. Yeah. Yeah, and I also invited my friend from London, uh, Freedom Court. Uh, we work together, he's an artist and he lives in London too. So mainly, we only have one international <laughs> artist. So uh, what are the names of the artists involved? I don't mean their real life names. Of yeah, yeah, names yeah, 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 definitely. So we have uh, Trip. Uh, Trip is the one. The other one is LA180. Freedom Cult is the guy from London. Then we have Gennaro Branca, that's his real name and it's our, his art name as well. Uh, bomb. Bomb? Bomb. Who's Bomb? What did Bomb do? Uh, bomb a guy who did a peasant he, with a sunflower? That's LA 180. LA 180, okay. Yeah, uh, Bomb painted on the side of that same building. Okay. That's Bomb. And then, so Bomb did the spaceship kind of thing. Yeah. Then there's Louis Bach who's collaborating with Trip at the, the entrance of the of the town, the big All right. blue wall. Okay. So the, the blue woman blowing yeah. kisses that turn into yeah. graffiti. Yeah. That's them. I think they're going to be some sort of leaf at the beginning and then they will become graffiti or lettering or however you think it is. And uh, then we have two local artists as well. One is uh, Giovanni Potentus working on shadows. Okay. Painting, Potentin yeah. Potentin the shadow yeah. series, so with the arts and crafts. Yeah, and not only, but this uh, that was uh, two years ago. And now this one is uh, about uh, the, I call it lost uh, games. The games of a, of a past. So games we don't, uh, the kids don't play anymore. So that's what he's painting for the Ephemera Festival now. Okay, so like the kids chasing the wheel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Those ones. And uh, then there's Francesco Favoino as well. Oh, he's a local artist. He, he works a lot with sculptures, using materials that he finds in uh, around the area. So, wood, so he's stones. the guy who um, is painting at night. He's painting at night because he works during the day because he has a pizzeria and a bar. So he's really busy. So when he, he closes everything, uh, he goes and paints. So he don't help. Did the, the local him. authorities support you? Yeah. Did the, you get any support from he, the mayor? Yeah, we do. Uh, we are directly funded by the mayor and the, the town the council of the town and uh, so mainly the budget is the budget comes from them and they uh, supported us uh, as much as they can they did as much as they can did they put the artists up did they give them a place to sleep yeah yeah they offered the accommodation they are paying for travel expenses uh, they bought the materials and the food as well is uh, so that's a lot yeah it's a lot I don't have any money to, to pay them, but at least uh, they are covered for everything else. Okay.
Would you say if the local population interacted? Oh, they were trying to figure out what was happening. They did they, they, something new. I think. It's some, something it's totally something, new. Yeah, something so they, they, they were know waiting about. to. They were trying to understand what what's going on here, and then they did, started. Did the, the children enjoy the workshop with Gennaro? The girls. Hey. Le ragazze ti, uh, si sono divertite ieri con il uh, workshop. They, they really loved it. They loved it, yeah. They were super happy and they were really saying all the time, thank you, thank you, thank you, because you organize this and every time they, they will remember this in future and every time that they come, uh, they can see what they have painted. Uh, Karim, uh, the artist uh, painting this piece, uh, was accused of being a little bit slow. Uh, but he was also invited uh, to lunch by uh, locals uh, just next door and he was seen drinking a lot of red wine so strangely enough after that the dominant color that appeared throughout the piece was red work is almost complete the last touch is the Robin Red Breast. Robin in progress. We finally spotted the last but most important artist involved in the project of the Shadows, Giovanni Potente. Yes. He is the real master of Canna. All these other youngsters are here for a laugh, but he's here to stay. <laughs> Compared to everyone else, uh, Giovanni is working at an astonishing speed. Francesco is um, the owner of the local pizzeria and bar, but the name of the bar is the island that's not there but it's also called artists bar instead of using a stencil technique they're actually using leaves from a vine all right so you're actually from Battipaglia, you live in milan and you're now in calabria yeah. what brought you here what made you say i want to take pictures of ephemera and can are they paying you for being here no. So, are you doing it for the love of it? Yes. This is the last piece of a festival by Gennaro, another artist from Battaglia. And we're trying to make out exactly what it could be. Um, I think I can see some lotus flowers. I think I can see some tomatoes. Obviously, the piece is yet to be finished but it could be some kind of uh, rural karma. This is uh, the closure of festival, the adults uh, workshop. They're gonna paint the word ephemera on this part of the wall that was covered to create a base next to amore, which was done by the girls yesterday. Explaining uh, spray cans, tops, and the thickness, the gear. <laughs> this is your part, that's my part. Don't come in my territory. <laughs> Spray lessons, street art lessons going on. Just like children being helped by parents, he's holding our hands. This is the last part of the interview. It's the end of the festival Ephemera. All artists 
uh, are completing their work. The hospitality is so good that they don't want to be finished. They want to stay a little bit longer, don't yeah. they? Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, Mara wants to have uh, the, the honorary citizenship to, to remain here.